Hello everybody, Pokemon Trainer Rob here, and welcome back to our Pokemon Emerald Adventure. Uh, so what do we got here? We have the Cutter's House. Okay. That determined expression, that limber way you move, and your well-trained Pokemon. You're obviously a skilled trainer. No, wait, don't say a word. I can tell just by looking at you. I'm sure that you can put this hidden machine to good use. No need to be modest or shy. Go on, take it. So here we get HMO1 cut, and oh my god. I was so happy that they did away with um, HMs, and uh, I guess they technically didn't get rid of them, but like, when Pokemon Gen 7 came out, and like, some Pokemon could just like do the moves outside of battle without having to like take a move slot, that was so freaking nice. I think they kind of backpedaled on that a little bit, too, but um, I'll, I'm sure I'll rant quite a bit about TMs and HMs later on, so I'm not going to bother you with that now. Um, but yeah, that's a Hidden Machine, or HM for short, is cut. An HM move is one that can be used by Pokemon outside of battle. Any Pokemon that's learned cut can chop down the thin trees if the trainer has earned the stone badge. And, unlike TM, an HM can be used more than once. Okay, that's cool. When they were expanding the city of Rustboro, my dad helped out. He made this Pokemon use Cut to clear the land of trees. So yeah, we can use um, Cut now. Well, we can't use it until we beat the gym, obviously, but we can at least go ahead and teach the move. And I am going to actually go ahead and teach it to Zigzagoon. Because, uh, well, Cut's a pretty good move. At least early on like this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of Growl, I think. Actually, hold on. This is the kind of cool thing, is you can actually take a look at all the moves at once. So, like right here, we have Tackle and Headbutt. Obviously, I'm keeping Headbutt. But, uh, honestly, getting rid of Tackle for Cut, not a bad idea. It's basically a more powerful Tackle. And it actually has some use. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of Growl. So now I have three moves I can use with Zigzagoon. And like I said before, I think I said this before, Zigzagoon's actually a really good Pokemon to use for HM moves. Um, I believe you can learn, like, at least four of them. So, um, you know, you can definitely just give it HM moves if you don't plan on using it um, as, like, a final team member. So, definitely good to keep one around for not only pickup, but also for the HM moves, too. But yeah, we can't use Cut just yet, but we'll definitely use it later. Oh, who might you be? You're a new face around these parts. Have you just transferred into the Pokemon Trainer School? I have not, but that sounds like a place I should probably visit. I challenge the gym leader, but it's not going to be easy winning with my Fire-type Pokemon. Fire-type Pokemon don't match up well against Rock-type Pokemon. Yep, not really. Pokemon Trainer School. If I go in the school, will I be able to catch rare Pokemon easily? Yes. Did you know this? You can have two-on-two -two battle, even if you're not with another trainer. If you catch the eyes of two trainers when you have two or more Pokemon, they'll both challenge you. Don't you think it'd be cool if you could beat two trainers by yourself? Uh, so yeah, basically he's explaining that um, when you're kind of going through like the different routes and fading, facing Pokemon trainers, if you happen to be in the line of sight of two trainers at once, You'll actually initiate a double battle right then and there. It's not just two people who are standing next to each other. So if you want to kind of, you know, take two trainers out in one battle, you can actually do that and just do a double battle and take them both out. But in, a, in addition to that, you may face some challenges due to, uh, you know, maybe facing two Pokemon that might be over-advantaging your other Pokemon, if that makes sense. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at this Pokemon Trainer School. Hello, didn't we meet before? I think back in Petalburg City. Let me introduce myself. My name is Scott. I've been traveling everywhere in search of outstanding trainers. More specifically, I'm looking for Pokemon battle experts. So what brings you to this school? Are you a trainer too? The first thing you should do is have a Pokemon learn the move cut. If I remember correctly, someone in this town has cut. Yes, I already did that, dude. Sorry. Pokemon can hold items, but they don't know what to do with the man-made items like Potion and Antidote. A Pokemon holding a berry will heal itself. 
There are many kinds of items that Pokemon can hold. Boy, it is sure hard taking notes down. I'm trading Pokemon with a friend right now. I can see that. I always wanted a C dot, and I'm finally getting one. You know how some Pokemon moves can confuse a Pokemon? A confused Pokemon will sometimes attack itself without meaning to. But once it leaves battle, it will return to normal. So yeah, you can learn some things about uh, Pokemon in this place, not just from these guys, but I think if you interact with the board, you can actually um, learn about uh, status effects. But I'm not going to bother with that. I do want to talk to this guy, though, because... Students who don't study get a little taste of my quick claw. Whether or not you are a good student will be evident from the way you use this item. So here we get the Quick Claw item. So Quick Claw is a pretty cool uh, hold item. Uh, what it does is if you give it to a Pokemon, um, it doesn't mean you'll always attack first, but there are some cases where um, you will actually um, attack first when normally you probably wouldn't have. So it can be definitely good for a Pokemon that might be a bit slower than uh, what some of your other Pokemon are. So... Um, let me actually hold on. Let me look at. Um, I'm guessing Slavco is probably the slowest. Well, Gamer Cow is kind of slow too, and Mudkip's not too fast either. You know what? I'm gonna actually give it to um, Mudkip for right now. When we get a better one for Mudkip, I'll definitely um, replace it. But you know, like Slavco is gonna be slow no matter what, so I might as well give it to. You know, Mudkip, who's kind of struggling, but I wouldn't say he's struggling as much as, like, other Pokemon. So, I think that might be actually a good place to put that, at least for right now, anyway. But yeah, we'll probably switch it over to another Pokemon later on. Roxanne, the gym leader, really knows a lot about Pokemon. She's really strong, too. The trainer school is excellent. If you study there, you could even become a gym leader. Ooh. Gym Leader Rob. No longer a Pokemon trainer, but a gym leader. That'd be pretty cool. I, I've always wanted to be a Pokemon gym leader when I grew up. It's just that, you know, Pokemon don't exist, unfortunately. Okay, what do we have here? We have another house. Every Pokemon has a special ability that it can use. Yes, I went over those. Pokemon are such strange creatures. That's all you gotta say? Someone at least, like, hinted at game mechanics, but... You just said, oh, Pokemon are weird, basically. Oh, it's so hard every day. What's hard? You need to ask. It's trying to figure out what to make for meals every day. That is actually a hard thing, for sure. It really isn't easy coming up with meals every day. Yeah, that's true. Oh, hello. Welcome to the Pepper household. I have a question for you. Have you ever babysat? You see, I'm a new father, so raising a child is all new to me. And I have a problem. My daughter, Walda, doesn't laugh enough. I think she'd laugh for me if I told her something funny. Do you know of a funny word or phrase you can tell me? Yes. Oh, that's wonderful. So let's hear it. Your suggestion. Tell him the words. Um, let's see. Um, pickles. I don't know. Ah, I see. Well, let's give it a try, shall we? Pickles! Pickles! Hmm, she's not smiling at all. Maybe Walda is one serious child. <laughs> it was worth a shot. I think these are all dolls. Yeah, I think these are all dolls. I wish I had a Mudkip doll like this, though. Come on. Yeah, I'd like one of those. I'm actually using a Mudkip, too, so yeah, like... <laughs> Gimme. <laughs> Come on, just hand it over. <laughs> okay, a Pokemon you get in a trade from someone grows fast, but if you don't have a certain gym badge, it may not obey you. Yeah, we'll definitely learn about that very, very soon. Not that I plan to trade, it's just, again, I think we'll I'll talk about it soon. Uh, let me go ahead and heal, because I haven't done that yet since my last routes. So we're going to go ahead and heal up our Pokemons. Thank you for waiting. Let's see what these guys have to say. Just like people, there are male and female Pokemon, but no one seems to have any idea how they're different. 
That's actually something I think they kind of expand on later on in future gens, where they have, like, specific physical traits that get different for some Pokemon. I know for Pikachus, like, the tail is, like, the indicator, but I don't know if that was quite a thing yet. Yeah, you can correct me if I'm wrong. The man next door gave me an HM. I used it to teach my Pokemon how to cut down skinny trees. Only skinny ones, not the thick ones? My Pokemon have a, has a naive nature and my friends has a jolly nature. It's fascinating how Pokemon have personalities. That is actually pretty cool. And it does kind of, you know, expand, like, potential lore. Like, for those who like kind of, like, making their own stories with, like, their Pokemon teams and everything. Have you ever taken the Pokemon Gym Challenge? When you get the shiny gym badge in hand, I guess the trainers begin to realize what is required of them. That is pretty cool. Pretty cool aspect of this series, honestly. Huh? My Pokemon is cute? Sure, I knew that. But if you really want, I'm willing to trade it to you. I'll trade you my C-Dot for a Ralt if you want. No! Oh, if you don't want to, that's okay. But my Pokemon is cute, you know. Well, I, that's great, but, like, I, I have... I don't want to give up my Ralts, and I already have a C-Dot, so whatever. But yeah, you can basically uh, get a C-Dot here if you don't want to grind for the 1% catch rate on that previous route. But on the off chance, you'd have to, obviously, catch a Ralts, which is 4%, which is not much better. But uh, yeah, that, that, this is a way you can get a C-Dot if you don't want to wait through a 1% capture. In all sorts of places, there are all sorts of Pokemon and people. I find that fascinating, so I go to all sorts of places. Well, that's good. You should. Traveling's fun. <laughs> Traveling is very fun. Uh, so here's the Pokemon Gym. I'm not going to go to the gym just yet. I do want to explore over here. Because here we have the Devon Corporation that we were kind of uh, finding out about um, earlier. Hey, those running shoes. They're one of our products. Yeah, we make shoes! <laughs> It makes me happy when I see someone using something we made. That would actually be a really cool thing. I imagine that's also cool for, like, game developers who see, like, people playing their games and enjoying their games. So I, I definitely get that. Hello, and welcome to the Devon Corporation. We're proud producers of items and medicine that enhance your life. Well, that sounds like a pretty big deal. At least they're doing good things, I guess. I'm sorry, only authorized people are allowed to enter here. Which, I guess that means we're not authorized, so that was quick. Guess we're not going to be exploring that after all. But let's go ahead and move north a little bit. The Devon Corporation. We all just shorten it to Devon. That company makes all sorts of convenient products. Yes, we found that out already. So, time-saving tunnel nearing completion is what it says in the sign, but there's also a big X splashed across it in red paint. Okay, so um, here we actually have two routes we can go. Uh, I'm not going to explore either of them just yet, because I do actually want to kind of go ahead and take on the gym challenge. So let's go ahead and get ready for that. So as we've found out already, uh, the gym here is going to be a rock-based gym. So we're going to actually have uh, Kip and Sig uh, take out everything here, because obviously water is str and grass is strong against rock. And um, Ringer would have a weakness, Slavko would have a weakness, Gamer Cow should be fine, but uh, Zigzagoon would definitely have a weakness, so we're definitely going to be depending on these two to get us through here, which eh, shouldn't be an issue. I think they can handle it. Yo, how's it going? Listen, my friend, would you like to become the champion? I'm no trainer, not me, but I can sure give you some winning advice. That's settled then. We'll aim for the Pokemon Championship together. It's your job as a trainer to collect gym badges, am I right? But gym leaders aren't pushovers. And that's where I come in. I'm here to provide expert advice. Roxanne, the gym leader, is a user of rock-type Pokemon. The rock-type is very durable, but it can't stand water-type and grass-type moves. Come see me afterwards if you beat the gym leader. We'll go for it. Well, I'll go for it. I don't know what you're going to do, but you're just going to stand there, I think. Okay, so um, this guy is all by himself, so no matter what, we're going to have to do a single battle here. Don't take us gym trainers lightly. I'll show you why we're better. Yeah, well, here. Water on your face! <laughs> Youngster Josh. Okay, so we have a Geodude. That's right, Geodude is back once again. 
And I know it's kind of funny that, like, um, for, like, the last two Pokemon playthroughs I did, I actually had Geodude, or Graveler to some extent, as, like, a, you know, early team member on most of my teams, usually to take out either, like, a Electric Gym or a, uh, just a, um, Normal Gym. Basically anything that was, had Rock was strong against, but that's probably not going to be the case this time, if I'm being honest, because, uh, I think I'll have some other ideas to take on those future uh, gems. Okay, so that was pretty good. Get a nice level up to level 11. And up, up. Oh yeah, that was only one Pokemon, so... Yeah, Geodude's pretty uh, pretty easy to take down, I must say. Uh, but let's go ahead and go on. Now, right here, I believe we can actually have a double battle right here. So let's go ahead and try to aim for that. If you can't beat me, you won't stand a chance against Roxanne. We might be in the middle of town, but so what? My rock Pokemon need room to rampage. Dude, you're going to send your rock Pokemon to rampage through a town? That's definitely not smart. So here we have Youngster Tommy and Hiker Mark. So they both have two Pokemon each. And they're both going to send out Geodudes, but that's more than fine. And this is, this is when double battles can be really, really awesome. So, like, here we can use Water Gun to attack this one. And here we can use Absorb to attack this one. And we should, theoretically, take out both of them in one shot. I know Absorb is not too powerful, but since uh, Geodude is rock and ground, and both are weak against grass, um, that, that should be an easy, like, one shot, even with Absorb. And yeah, as you can see, they have more Geodudes. Lots of Geodudes. Oh, that didn't take it down. Oh. That's a little annoying, but, uh, eh, it is what it is. Okay, well, let's, uh, go ahead and do that. I think that's literally, like, one HP. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll take that down, too. Okay, Kip's at level 12 now. Oh, and Sig's at level 12 now, too. Damn, they're, they're actually raising pretty fast. <laughs> they grow up so fast. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Now, I should be able to take out this one with Absorb in one shot because of uh, the fact that it did uh, level up here, but still, just in case, I'll still have kip attack as well and there we go that was um, a gym double battle which actually went very very well <laughs> wow you've got some potential oh man oh man our challenger is one feisty customer yeah I'm feisty I'm very very feisty I'm so feisty so damn feisty hey Roxanne what's up Hello, I'm Roxanne, the Rustboro G Pokemon Gym Leader. I became a gym leader so that I might apply what I learned at the Pokemon Trainer School in battle. Would you kindly demonstrate how you battle and with what which Pokemon? Sure, I'll just one-shot you with water, I guess. <laughs> so here we have Roxanne, our first gym leader. Unlike Brock, she actually has three Pokemon, but I think... I want to say she has two Geodudes still, though, but then we'll find out. There is one new Pokemon that she has that Brock obviously didn't have because it's a Gen 3 Pokemon, but we'll see that shortly. As Kip gets another level up, he's at level 13. Another Geodude. You know what, I'll give Sig, Sig some action too. She did good in the last fight, so I might as well give her a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of time to shine as well. Although we do have a level 12 Geodude, so this will probably not take it down. It's a much higher level. Oh, a crit, crit! Okay, that works too. <laughs> okay, good job, Sig. Also levels up to level 13. And here we have Nosepass. Nosepass, I believe, is a new... I mean, it is a new Gen 3 Pokemon. It's a rock type, and it has a big nose. <laughs> a very, very big nose, but 
We should be fine. It is going to use Harden, but that's not going to help since we're using a special move. It, okay, it is kind of tanky though, so this will not be easy. I could try using Mud Slap to see if that'll... Because I think Ground is strong against Rock. I can't escape. Well, I wasn't going to escape. Yeah, it's super effective, so yeah. And that'll also lower its accuracy, too, so... Yeah, take that. Um, I could do it again. Sure, why not? It, it's not going to miss Harden, though. You can't miss Harden. But I'll lower its accuracy before it uses any other moves. Wait a minute, what's this? A berry? Oh, it restored some health with an Oron berry. Well, it's also tackling. It's tackling with that huge nose of its. <laughs> That's a really huge nose, though. Oh, man, she's actually using a potion. Man, she is trying to keep this nose pass in battle. Despite lowering its accuracy twice, its tackles are still hitting. That's fine. Stop healing your Pokemon! <laughs> I mean, I would do the same thing, sure, but, like, it's more annoying <laughs> in my case. <laughs> okay, I, I want to say that she's used all of her potions, though, so, like, she'll go down right here. Good job, Kip. Good job. And we get to level 14. Man, Kip is really gaining levels. I mean, I think he started in this gym at level 10, if I'm not mistaken, so... He's made some good progress here. So, I lost. It seems that I still have much more to learn. I understand. The Pokemon League's rules state that trainers are to be given this if they defeat a gym leader. Please accept the official Pokemon League Stone Badge. So we get some money, we get the Stone Badge. We are one-eighth of the way to our Pokemon Badge journey. The Stone Badge heightens the attack power of your Pokemon. It also enables them to use the HM Move Cut outside of battle. Please take this with you, too. We also get TM39. That te technical machine, TM39, contains Rock Tomb. It not only inflicts damage by dropping rocks, it also lowers speed. If you use a TM, it instantly teaches the move to a Pokemon. Remember, a TM can only be used once, so think before you use it. So yeah, Rock Tomb, uh, I'd say that's a pretty decent thing you could teach a Pokemon early on if you have like a rock type or something. So I am definitely going to take that. And yeah, we are done with the first gym, so... Get out! Get out of the way! Wait, please! Don't take my goods! Oh no, his goods have been taken. <laughs> yeah, we'll, uh, we'll uh, deal with that shortly. I'm, of course, going to go heal my Pokemon really quick. And I uh, believe we're going to actually uh, start uh, checking out some of those other routes that we have available to us right now. It is actually required for the next part of this, so I think that's going to be my plan of attack, at least for right now. So let's go ahead and go up here. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to explore this northern route. Now, I believe on this route there's not actually much you can do. Uh, this is actually a route that you'll enter, like, from the future. Like, we can't get up this ledge. So, yeah, there's not really anything we can do right now, unfortunately, here. But we can talk to this lady. Exploring a cave isn't like walking on a road. You'll never know when wild Pokemon will appear. It's full of suspense. Yeah, so you gotta be careful of that. Uh, but yeah, we have a nice beach here. I believe we can find an item, which is a super potion. And I think that's pretty much it. So we're already going to be leaving this route. So yeah, that didn't take very long. <laughs> but that's fine. That's fine it didn't take very long. Because that means we can just get right on our way and continue on with more. And that will do it for today's video. This has been Pokemon Trainer Rob. And I'll see you guys next time for our next Pokemon Emerald Adventure. See you guys then. Later, folks.